tonight, outrage and concern from local party leaders who are condemning this shooting. It comes just days before the Republican National Convention. Of course, security will be now be extra tight for that convention in Milwaukee. And tonight, the Massachusetts State Police announcing it will be increasing patrols here despite naming any specific threats. WBZ's Laura Hafley joins us now with reaction from our security experts and our local political leaders as well. Laura, what are they saying? Well, during what's already been an emotional election season, local officials here in Massachusetts are concerned today's shooting may only heighten some of the violent rhetoric we've seen over the last several months. Elected officials here calling for party unity and peace in the wake of today's shooting. Shots were fired towards former President Donald Trump Saturday evening at a campaign rally in Butler County, Pennsylvania. Trump seen in this video ducking to the ground before being whisked away by Secret Service, the agency confirming President Trump's safety shortly after the incident. Law enforcement confirmed the gunman is dead. Blood coming from a wound and hearing the gunshots in the background. You know exactly what's going on. It's an, ass an assassination attempt. Former Police Commissioner Ed Davis says the violence has put law enforcement agencies nationwide and here in Massachusetts on high alert. The incident likely triggering an increase in security. There's an infrastructure of uh, federal authorities who are pumping information out to the local authorities. My former colleagues in, in state and local police are concerned about blowback from this. Uh, is this a nation state? Is this uh, a, 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 some type of a conspiracy here in the United States? Or is it the, uh, the, the lone wolf? That Davis predicting agencies will monitor for potential threats in the coming days, including at future political events. It will ratchet up security around the coming conventions. Everybody's on alert right now. Everybody's trying to get as accurate information as possible so that they are appropriately prepared for this. With the Republican National Convention just days away, Massachusetts party delegates are in Milwaukee preparing to nominate former President Trump as the Republican candidate. It's certainly shocking today uh, to know that there was an individual who came extremely close to taking the life of former President Trump upon the nomination for running again for president. Amy Carnival is the chair for the Massachusetts GOP. You are currently in Milwaukee just a couple days from the RNC. What is the atmosphere there like now? I am in Milwaukee. Uh, the atmosphere turned from one of enthusiasm and high energy and hope and celebration to now one of a, really a, a, a pallor and shock. Uh, so it's probably going to take a couple of days uh, for that uh, mood to change. Carnival says there has not been a noticeable change in RNC security and the Massachusetts delegation will move forward as planned, including the official nomination coming from former Bristol County Sheriff Tom Hodgson. I think the speakers that we had planned to hear from will be even more um, determined uh, to give an address to Republican delegates and to nominate President Trump as our nominee for November. Democratic lawmakers took to social media Saturday responding to the violence, including Senator Elizabeth Warren. Writing, political violence is wrong and I condemn it. I hope everyone who attended the rally is okay and I'm glad the former president is safe. Shortly after, Ed Markey posted, Political violence in all forms is condemnable. I'm praying for the family of the victim of this shooting and grateful for the safety of the former president and the brave work of Secret Service on the scene. And Maura Healy with the same sentiment. Political violence has no place in this country and all Americans must condemn it. I'm grateful for the swift response from law enforcement. I'm relieved the former president appears to be safe and my thoughts are with all who were at today's rally. I've seen the statements that have come out from Democratic uh, leaders, um, certainly heartened um, by the statements that I've seen. And as party leaders, we understand um, uh, that we are running for office in order to achieve the best policy for Americans. And we did reach out to the Massachusetts State Police. As you heard, they will be increasing patrols statewide following today's violence. Just one example of how seriously local law enforcement is taking this moment. Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.